Hi, and welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler, and today we're doing another Modern Warfare tutorial. We are on Gulag Showers right now, and there's a very long straight pathway, and I thought that this would be great to show you guys the different movement speeds and what you guys should be uh, using to get around the most effectively. This would, these are going to be most important, um, maybe on the break of really any game mode, say S and D, where you got to be somewhere really quickly. Um, this is not going to be, I'm going to show you some examples of what you should not be doing uh, in the middle of games though, however. So I'm going to crouch, go up to this corner. I cannot go up there. Now I'm going to turn around, stand up, and now we're just going to walk and the timer is going to start now. So the timer has started and we are walking as straight as possible just to give us a baseline of how fast does it take us to go a specific distance. Of course, it's kind of hard to tell what difference it is I mean what distance it is that we're going but it all is the same distance so we'll be able to see um, how fast these are so now I'm going to be sprinting the whole way and the timer starts now all right so of course the sprinting is going to be faster but there is actually a third mode of movement in modern warfare if you're unaware uh, I actually was not aware you can double sprint so I'm playing on a controller right now so most people use this stick right here to sprint if you click it down twice see how my guys kind of moving way quicker way faster well that is because of the double sprint feature the negatives to the double sprint feature are that it takes you a lot much 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 longer to pull your gun out and shoot so I'll show you right here. If I'm double sprinting, my gun's up. That was a solid, that was over a whole second, honestly, from when I clicked. Hard to show it in the video, but it was about, about a second from when I could shoot after I clicked the trigger. So now we're gonna be timing the double sprint. And you can see my guy is, is his movement is going crazy, but Clearly, that was much faster than the normal sprint. Uh, but now we're going to be seeing if there is anything that uh, we can do to actually increase this. Can we, I don't know, side slide or, you know, just slide the whole way? Or we're, that's what we're going to be testing. So I'm also doing all this with the combat knife because in this game, your movement actually is... Uh, changed based on the gun that you're holding and past Call of Duty it really was not the case but it is here in Modern Warfare adding some realism to it so we're gonna get up against here all right so now we're gonna be sprinting and sliding timer is started I gotta hurry up apparently there's one minute left okay so we will time that one as well and there's one more I have in mind for us the last one that could be a good way to move around would be to double sprint, slide, and then jump out of it and continue to do that over and over again. Honestly, I think that was slow. But we're going to go we're going to go to the footage right now and see the times that you already know about. All right, everyone, so I've put together this graph here to kind of uh, show you all the different numbers and how they compare to each other. If you went back to the footage, you would see that actually the sprint jump slide was 8 seconds and a certain amount of frames. Well, those amount of frames um, are equivalent to 0.47 seconds. So I just converted them into flat seconds here. Looks like I accidentally put that there. Sorry about that. And, yeah, these are the exact seconds, not the frames. Uh, and that's what you saw on the screen earlier, just to clarify that. The base is going to be walking. That is the base time. And all of these percentages are based after the walking time. So sprinting is going to be 17.4% faster than walking. Double sprinting is going to be 31.4% faster than walking, and so on and so forth. So I've also given some suggestions and what all of these mean because it's not necessarily the best thing to be going as fast as you can as possible. You might think that 
maybe if I'm going as fast as possible, then they are going to miss more shots, but that's going to prevent you from firing shots. So while the double sprint is extremely fast, much faster than any other form of travel, as you can see, a full second faster than anything else, it's extremely dangerous. If you run around the map and you f run into somebody while double sprinting, it's going to take you a solid extra second just to be able to shoot. And at that point, you might as well just be sprinting uh, because then if you have a SMG and it's close quarters, you might be able to get that off. So walking is really not going to be good for you if you're trying to get around at all, as I you could see. But these two at the bottom are actually going to be way more effective than you might think. The sprint slide and the sprint jump slide, I would say that these are both very good for SMG pushes. You want to be able to be very mobile. So sprinting and sliding around corners, jumping around is going to make you hard to hit. And you're going to have that advantage if you are uh, using a submachine gun. You can spray down the enemy from close up. Double sprint is very dangerous, like I said, but it's going to be really good for hard point rotations, or if you know where all the other enemies are, then it might be good for you just to get around the fastest. Uh, in breaks, like in S&D at the beginning of a round, it might be really good for you to double sprint to a specific area, and that's going to make sure that you get there before everybody else, but you don't want to go too far and get caught off guard. So I would say, really, that... Walking and sprint sliding are going to be, and sprint slide jumps are going to be your best for engagements, but sprinting is going to be a little bit dangerous for you. A lot of COD players sprint everywhere and they get caught off guard by professional players or people that know what they're doing uh, because they don't sprint all the time. That's going to be a really big thing. The two biggest tips that all COD players get wrong is sprinting at all times and reloading after you kill an enemy. Um, that's basically my two biggest tips for you guys. So I hope that this kind of breaks it down for you guys a little bit better. Um, it's pretty much how you would expect it to be. The double sprint is the fastest way to move in the game. There is no sort of B-hopping or G-sliding like there used to be in Counter-Strike or in Black Ops 3. But there is the double sprint, and this is way faster than any form of movement we've seen in Call of Duty before. Not sure if they're going to change this up or not, but it seems like it's been pretty balanced. If you're get caught double sprinting, you're going to die unless you can pull something out of your butt. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll be dropping a lot of content like this in the future. And as always, I appreciate you thank you have a good one